Top 10 Dumbest Ways People Have Died. Hello there, and welcome to see you at the top 10, today's video is about the top 10 dumbest ways to die. We all know that life is precious and that every moment counts, but unfortunately, some people make decisions that are just plain dumb and end up costing them their lives. Now, we're not here to make light of these situations or to poke fun at those who have passed away. Instead, we want to take a closer look at some of the most bizarre and ridiculous ways in which people have met their end. So sit back, relax, and prepare to be amazed, and maybe a little bit horrified, by our countdown of the 10 dumbest ways to die. Number 10. Moronic Mechanic. When 34-year-old James Burns from Michigan noticed that his truck was making a strange noise, he decided to fix it himself. However, because the noise was only audible when the truck was moving, he foolishly thought it would be best to locate its source while the vehicle was in motion. Burns, therefore, asked his friend to drive the truck on a highway as he clung to its undercarriage trying to repair it. The time his friend pulled over to see if their plan had worked, it was already too late. Burns was declared dead at the scene. Number 9, Golden Boy. When Thomas James robbed a South Carolina convenience store in 2009, he had a rather unconventional method of disguising himself. The 24-year-old decided to spray paint his face gold ignoring clear labels on the can that warned against contact with skin or eyes. Shortly after he robbed the store at gunpoint, James stopped breathing intoxicated by the paint fumes. He was rushed to hospital but died later that day. Number 8, Wrong Part of the Grenade. In 2000, a man known only as Augusta boarded a plane in the Philippines. He waited for the plane to take flight before pulling out a gun and a grenade and robbing the passengers of approximately $25,000. He then ordered the pilot to lower the plane to 2 kilometers so he could parachute back to Earth. As he jumped, he pulled the pin out of the grenade accidentally. He somehow managed to throw the pin into the cabin and keep hold of the business end of the grenade himself. All 300 people on board the plane survived. The hijacker, however, wasn't quite so lucky. Number 7, Car Race Chaos. Sprint car racing, an extremely popular sport in America, takes place on very muddy and slippery tracks making it incredibly difficult for drivers to break or swerve. This didn't deter racer Kevin Ward, who somehow thought it was a good idea to walk on the track in the middle of a race. Ward had been racing when another car crashed into his. Instead of waiting for vehicle repair to help him, he got out of his car to confront the other driver. Within seconds, other racers crashed straight into an unprotected Ward killing him instantly. Number 6, Deadly Dare, in 1998, the friends of 23-year-old Michael Gentler dared him to eat a whole live fish. Immediately, while trying to swallow the 13-centimeter fish, Gentler began to choke. His panic-stricken friends quickly rang for an ambulance, explaining only that their friend had eaten some fish. When paramedics arrived, they were not expecting to see the tail of a live fish slapping in Kenner's mouth. Sadly for the reckless young man, the paramedics' efforts at CPR were not enough to save him. Number 5. Explosive Collection Two brothers from Finland had a shared interest in collecting war weapons. By 2013, they had collected over 100 grenades as well as bazookas and ammunition. The bizarre thing was that neither brother had any training in the handling or disposal of such dangerous explosives. One day, one of the brothers was trying to defuse an anti-tank grenade when it exploded in his hand killing him instantly. The other brother was also seriously injured but survived. Investigations discovered that the collection contained enough explosives that a chain reaction set off. It could have devastated a 400 meters square area. Number 4. Train Game Two incredibly drunk and incredibly stupid men from the Netherlands decided to play a game that involved them getting as close as possible to a moving train. One man lay down between the tracks, 
believing that a speeding train would be able to just travel over him. The other sat next to the track, planning to move his head out of the way at the last minute. Of course, their plans didn't work out. When the 130 km an hour train came speeding toward them, they were both killed instantly. Number 3. Willing Volunteer a popular Sufi healer from the village of Mubarakabad in Afghanistan had been performing miracles for years. He wanted to perform the ultimate miracle a resurrection but required a body to resurrect. Believing that the ceremony would only work on a recently deceased and willing participant, he advertised for a volunteer. Unbelievably, 40-year-old Muhammad Naz stepped forward, true to his word. The holy man slit his victim's throat. The following day, when the resurrection inevitably failed, the healer was arrested. Number 2, Chewing Bomb, a 25-year-old chemistry student from Ukraine had a bizarre habit. While he was studying, he would dip his chewing gum in citric acid crystals to add a zesty flavor. One day, he made a mistake and accidentally dipped his gum in an unidentified chemical package similarly to the crystals he usually used. As soon as he put the gun back in his mouth, it exploded, destroying the top story of his house and killing the absent-minded student. Number 1, Deadly Rescue, in 2014, when trying to empty a septic tank on a Polish pig farm. One man accidentally fell into the tank and was knocked unconscious by its toxic fumes trying to rescue him. Another man jumped into the tank, also succumbing to the deadly gases. More and more people attempted to join in the futile rescue before being suffocated themselves. Eventually, seven people died in this ludicrous accident. As the village of Katovka, where the victims were from, was very small, this tragedy claimed the lives of 5% of its population. And that's our countdown of the 10 dumbest ways to die. We hope that you found it both entertaining and informative. Remember, while these stories may seem bizarre and unbelievable, they also serve as a cautionary tale to always think before you act, and to prioritize safety in all situations. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment below letting us know which dumb way to die surprised you the most. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to our channel see you at the top 10 for more engaging content like this. Thanks for watching.